Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally doing my most requested video so far, which is my healthy haircut routine. I've been meaning to do this video for so long and I'm really happy I finally managed to get around to it. I have written a blog post approximately two years ago with all my tips and tricks for growing long and healthy hair. And I do believe it is still relevant, so I will put a link down here in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. But since then, I have started this YouTube channel, which is currently my main focus for Ellie's Diary. So I thought I really should take the time to film this hair care routine in a video format. I will try to give you guys as much information as possible on how I care for my hair, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So, first things first, I always detangle my hair before I wash it. I like to use a wooden brush to get rid of all the knots and tangles before wetting my hair. I started using wooden brushes approximately six years ago and I never ever looked back. When you use a wooden brush with wooden bristles, these natural bristles will absorb your hair's natural oils. And by brushing your hair with it, it will distribute these oils evenly, naturally conditioning your hair. Compared to plastic and metal brushes, wooden brushes are also known to drastically reduce hair static and breakage. And last but not least, when you brush your hair with a wooden brush, these natural bristles will massage acupressure points on your head, which will stimulate circulation to the scalp and promote healthy hair growth. As far as shampoo goes, I stopped buying into the fantasy, magical, wonderland treatment described on the labels and I try to go for the simplest and cleanest shampoo I can find. Look for a shampoo which is mild and gentle, with as less chemicals as possible, so that it isn't going to dry your hair off. The best ones I found at my local drugstore are the Hip Sensitive Baby Shampoo and the Pure 97 Jasmine and Coconut Oil Shampoo. I use two times size amounts of shampoo to wash my scalp and then I don't go down washing my lengths and my ends. This is a very common mistake, I also used to do that, but then I've learned that it is actually quite damaging for the hair. What it does is that it strips the hair from its natural oils and it damages the hair cuticles, which are two factors that will eventually lead to hair breakage. As I use a very mild shampoo, I often like to shampoo my scalp twice especially when I'm performing and they're using lots of products in my hair. As far as my lengths and my ends go, I'm not really worried because I know that once I step under the warm water and rinse my scalp free from shampoo, the lengths and the ends will be shampooed from the residue coming from the scalp. I wash my hair two to three times a week. I wash my body every day, but not my hair, because I like to give my scalp the time to produce those naturally occurring oil secretions which will hydrate my lengths and my ends and prevent my hair from getting too dry. Before I move on to how I condition my hair, there is one last thing I would like to address about shampoos. Hair care in general sadly tends to produce a lot of plastic waste, which is of course terrible for the environment. I am therefore really looking into substituting my liquid shampoo for some solid bar shampoo. I have bought these two ones from Nature Box. I still haven't tried them yet, but I really want to give them a go. I am therefore unable to tell you right now how good they are, but as I'm sharing my hair care routine, I really wanted to let you guys know that this is the direction I'm planning to go from now on. As far as conditioning goes, I stopped using a conditioner approximately 10 years ago. A few of my hairdresser friends recommended me to switch my conditioner for a hair mask and I haven't looked back since. The main difference between a conditioner and a hair mask is that a conditioner will condition your hair, whilst a hair mask provides deep nourishment to your hair. I came across a funny anonymous quote on the internet which actually describes quite well the difference between the two. Using a hair mask is like eating a healthy, full-bodied meal, whilst using a conditioner is like wearing makeup. A hair mask will penetrate deep into your hair, providing nourishment from inside out, whilst a conditioner will only work on beautifying the outer surface. Having said that, the best hair mask I have ever come across in my life is the Pure 97 Jasmine and Coconut Oil Hair Mask for Dry Hair. I love it, it does wonders for my hair and all of my friends that have tried it are also falling in love with it so I really, really do believe that this is a great product. I apply it after shampooing my hair 
and will leave it on for approximately 4 to 5 minutes whilst I'm going on with the rest of my shower routine. I will then grab a white tooth comb and gently detangle my hair with the hair mask still on before rinsing my hair and getting out of the shower. As far as styling goes, I really believe in the less is more kind of philosophy, especially if you're trying to grow long and healthy hair. I use no heat at all in my hair, no curling irons, no hair straighteners, no blow dryers, nothing. To dry my hair, I'll first gently squeeze all the excessive water out, then softly scrunch it with a microfiber towel before putting it up into a microfiber turban. I let my hair dry this way until it is approximately 75% dry, which I'm not going to lie to you guys, but at this point in time it takes me approximately 45 minutes to one hour to get to that point. My next step after that will be oiling my hair. Oiling your hair is probably one of the best ways in which you can condition your hair. It softens, sheens and makes your hair shiny and it is my absolute favourite product to use on my dry hair. There are so many great different oils you can use and I highly recommend that you try different ones out to see which one works best for you. I am currently personally falling in love with this coconut burichi oil by DM's own brand Langha Mädchen. I used to deeply coat my hair in oil for approximately one hour before washing it, but now I'm opting for a more gradual kind of oiling strategy. I put the smallest amount of oil on my ends and on my lengths every single day until the day that I wash it, so that my hair is being constantly nourished and protected. As far as hairstyles go, unless it's a special occasion, you'll always see me sporting a damage-proof protective hairstyle, which in my case is often a super simple easy soft braid. I braid my hair all the time, not too tightly because I don't want to stress it, but I do believe that protecting your hair from damage is one of the key secrets for growing long and healthy hair. I also sleep with my hair in a braid, and I like to secure it with a scrunchie. I like using scrunchies over elastics because elastics can sometimes break your hair, while scrunchies are soft and gentle and way less likely to damage your ends. Some of you guys ask me if I take any supplements to promote a healthy hair growth. And my answer to that question is not specifically, but I do anyway supplement my diet with multi-mineral and multivitamin tablets. However, for the sake of this specific video, I decided to try the Bare Benefits Amazing Biotin Hair Vitamins. I like them. They're yummy, they're vegan, they're cruelty free and they come in the cutest 100% recycled packaging. But do I believe they are necessary? No, I don't. Don't get me wrong, these are great and they work really well for my hair. But they kind of are on the expensive side of the cost spectrum and I really don't believe they are a must for growing long and healthy hair. What I do believe is fundamental though, is eating a healthy whole foods diet. In this specific moment of my life, I am a firm believer that we kind of are what we eat. Correct nutrition is fundamental for health in general, and if we are healthy, we are more likely to grow long and healthy hair. I therefore do believe that nutrition is probably the most important aspect of my healthy hair care routine. Eat omega-3 fatty acids that you can find in foods such as chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seeds, walnuts. Eat mineral and vitamin C rich foods such as spinach, Swiss chard, berries, mangoes. I love mixing them up in smoothies to get a nutrient rich snack. One of my favourite snacks is actually a spinach and berry smoothie. All you need is one cup of baby spinach, half a cup of frozen berries, one tablespoon of chia seeds, half a banana, and half a cup of coconut milk. Blend all of these ingredients together and enjoy! So this was my hair care routine with all my tips and tricks for growing long and healthy hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. Also, leave a comment down below and let me know how you take care of your hair. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!